Hello world. <laughs> I'm here uh, in the car. Ginger is not with me. So I uh, I just thought I'd jump in to share something with you. So what does it mean, realization, self-realization? Realization that you are infinite. Attributeless, that being... Being is attributeless. It, it cannot be grasped. It cannot be pointed to. There is no fixed self. Anything you take upon yourself as a belief is like a piece of clothing that you clothe yourself with. And then you believe this is me. This is, this is me. This is... This belief is me. This is me. You merge with the belief. Because you are transparent, you are infinite. Anything you wear as an identity will feel true. But will feel small. And um, the more clothing you have, <laughs> the more claustrophobic you feel. The more you take belief and belief upon belief, the smaller it gets and the more dense your experience becomes. Because you get further away from infinite. You get further down into the, the illusion. Suffering can only appear in duality. If you are suffering, there's an identification with the thought. It doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong if you are suffering. It just means it's an alarm, like it's a GPS telling you now you're making yourself small. You're limiting yourself. So many people say, I know this. Intellectually, sorry, I saw someone that I am supposed to meet in a few minutes, five minutes. I know this intellectually, but it's not my lived experience. So in this process, it's possible to see this or to know that this is possible. Yeah, this is possible. I'm making belief about myself, about others, about the world. But why does it, why is it still happening? And the only thing in the way is fear or lack of trust, because it's the same thing. And when we know we're doing it, it's even worse <laughs> because you're, you know that you're doing it and you may keep doing it. You know that the limitations are imagined, but you keep adopting them. So my process is that I realize that this imagined ceiling, sometimes you have to climb out of them one by one, like the, the jump from total freedom. It's as if the nervous system has to integrate. So you take a step outside of your comfort zone. It feels really like scary and you ground it allow the feeling of discomfort to be felt like oh this is scary and then trust will build upon itself because the more you do it the more you'll see that the ground appear as you walk that's i like this expression i'm, I'm not the first one to say that i heard it before i used to say as i walk towards it it appears as you take a step outside of your comfort zone, what is needed to support that step will appear. You don't know how it will appear, you don't know in what form, it may be in, form, in the form of people, opportunity, uh, 
um, it doesn't have to be money all the time. It can be in the form of money or in the form of shelter or you will be supported, but you have to prove it to yourself by doing it, by conviction. Because if you just think about it, it's going to stay at the mental level. But what we want is to embody the freedom, to move freely towards what brings us joy. And if there is fear in the way of that, you may have to take a few steps to go from A to, <laughs> to Z. So in reality, our being is unmoving. Awareness is not suffering. And we are already there. And every time we adopt a belief or a thought, we leave the Garden of Eden. And yet at the same time, there is a process of living in truth in this dimension, in this physical dimension. So is bringing the truth here in the physical dimension that your body is moved by intuition, by that no decision are made out of fear anymore. That even if there is a fear, it's a good mm, playground to do the thing that feels scary. You may have to do the small thing first and then bigger thing will be done. It may not be possible like to take the big step, but you take the small step and then you take a, a bigger step. And as your conviction build, conviction replace fear. It's a hologram. Reality is a hologram. It's going to mold and adapt to your energy body, to your your belief about yourself you don't have to have any belief and at the same time you can feel in your body i am worthy even if we say like there's no person so there is no worthy and unworthy person the self is not fixed but it doesn't mean that you are not taking on yourself some attribute you can you can take on yourself some attribute but Instead of adopting the <laughs> limiting attribute, you can adopt the heart attribute. I am safe. I am okay. I am worthy. And if you, if you feel that in your body, your life will reflect it. Because life is a reflection of what you believe about yourself. Life is weaved from your energy, from your embodiment so i'm more and more interested in the soul journey i never really inquire into that but when i feel into it when i ask myself what is of the most growth for my character we could say what is of the most growth for my soul what is my soul here to experience? And in myself, it feels like being fully autonomous for my own wealth. My wealth, my, my wealth of relationship, abundance, love, uh, financial wealth. I don't need to be a millionaire, but I don't wish to live in scarcity. I wish to live free of the fear of lack. And I and and to do that, I have to. I feel that I want to create my own income, doing what I love. That was like one of the most one of the theme that was always present in my life was how can I work without having the sensation or the feeling of working? How can I? How can my work be my passion? That was one of the theme. It's always been there. And the other theme was freedom. How can I be free? So I was looking everywhere outside of myself for freedom and couldn't find it. And then I found it inside. It's an inner freedom. That's the wealth. That's the wealth well. 
<laughs> that's the well of wealth, which is infinite. So that's why I'm moving towards somatic. Let's drop the word healing, but somatic embodiment, embodiment of I am safe, I am loved, I am taken care of as long as I take inspired action. Because the mistake of the mind is because I'm scared, I'm going to stay home and do nothing and the universe will take care of me and I will manifest with the mind. That's not it. It's passion. You are here to live your passion. To move from the heart center. This is my passion and it's benefiting the whole. And at the same time, I can receive wealth by being in my passion. To me, that's the, I'd say realization is the, is the most important purpose to wake up here and say, oh, whoa, whoa, what's happening here? I'm falling asleep in thinking and I put, I put these imaginary limits upon myself, upon life. You wake up out of that. And then the secondary purpose is follow your heart, follow your passion, live in joy, live in, in abundance. There is enough now. I always have more than enough. I always have enough and a little bit more. And then I always have enough and a little bit more become I always have more. It's, you got to start somewhere. I am, I am safe. I have enough and a little bit more. And at some point, your passion becomes the source of your income. And then there, it's a well of abundance. It has no limit. Because your energy is available while you're not dying into the idea of being separate. All right, so that's it for now. I just want to jump in to uh, share this for your benefit and my own. So, a little world, a little reality. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.